Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. It is a bittersweet day as we start the final season of Haikyuu together. It has been quite the journey and I say bittersweet because I am so, so excited to watch this season. Um, so it's, I have no doubt it will be wonderful, but I'm also sad because I can't believe like we're going to be wrapping up and I, I kind of want this to last forever and it kind of has lasted forever because I've made sure it has, <laughs> but today we're going to dive into season four, episode one of Haikyuu called Introductions. Um, before we start, I just want to give a shout out to my channel members. Um, you guys have been absolutely amazing in showing your love and support for my channel. And I am so thrilled at the community that we've built over the last little while. So I love you guys and thank you so much. But without any further ado, season four of Q is starting right now. Goosebumps already. He's going to be the most popular boy in school. Okay, just watched the intro and I got full body chills and I am pumped up to watch this. Um, wow, I literally have goosebumps and it won't go away. So, loved that. Loved that intro. I'm ready to start. I really hope Yachi made this poster. Oh my god, the height. <laughs> oh. Why did I snort? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my Love them. 
お電話変わりました武田ですはいあはいお世話になっておりますはいはいえー <gasps> this is what we saw at the bonus scene at the end of episode 10 from season three. Do you remember? If you watched my top five moments from season three, this exact moment made the honorable mention because、um, I loved it and I'm very, very excited right now. I also love how Hinata manages to make everything a competition, particularly with Kageyama. Like, it's height. You literally cannot control it. I also hope that they were wearing shoes when they measured because, like, every extra centimeter counts. Like, always, if you are a volleyball player or an athlete, period, put your height when you're wearing shoes. Just do it. Why not? <laughs> Higher than Suki, wow, okay. It's a pretty decent vertical. No, I'm gonna say not as high as Suki or Kageyama. That is actually very impressive that Hinata's jump was higher than Tsushima and the same as Asahi because Tsushima is 30 centimeters higher, taller than him, like、mm, 26. That vertical is very nice. Also, Kageyama is no slouch either. Like, those guys are jumping pretty well.、Um, interesting what Noi is saying about、uh, the guys who are really aiming to go higher. Like, when I was starting to play volleyball, I was always told, like, when the ball, as an outside hitter, not a middle, it's different timing and stuff, so it's not the same concept, but when the ball leaves the setter's hand, your objective is. To contact the ball at as high a point as you possibly can. So it kind of is like a little bit different than what Noya was saying, in that,、um, like, you should be max jumping, you should be trying to contact it as high as possible instead of letting the ball come to you. But, anyways, it's not right or wrong, but that's it. This is the moment I love. 
昇進がかかりました。ジャパン。ジャパン。すげえ。ユースというのは19歳以下の日本代表でしたよね。すごいね。なんかすごいとしか言えない。I'm just bombs. シワカと一緒じゃん。シワカは最終的な代表まで残ってたわけすげえ王様がそこまで残れるかわかんない,い確か今招集されるメンバーの中から2年後に実際にユースの代表として戦う選手が選ばれるんだよね世界を相手にその2年後に向けて日本中の15、16歳の選手たちの中から一握りの有望株が招集されるいやそこに呼ばれるだけですげえよ俺らやっぱヤバいやつと練習してたんだな<笑>バーサス世界ですよスケール違うわただ合宿は12月頭の5日間で1月の春高直前になりますので、no. 強制ではありませんいきますだって日本のトップが集まるところですよそれに、俺たちの性質上、今さら守りに入ってもしょうがない。うん、俺は。No, he not. Come on. 全日本だろ。<笑>全日本。19歳以下の日本代表、分かってんの？分かってるよ。えー、っと、お声がかかっているのは影山くんだけですね。影山。今後インタビュー受けるときは菅原先輩という素晴らしい先輩に学びましたって言うんだぞほうすり込むなよ菅さん抜けがけずりっすよ正直西野屋は呼ばれてもおかしくないと思うんだけどなそうやなまあ親バカ的視点もあるけどもこういうのって実力とか伸びしろはもちろんだけど全体のバランスとかも考えられてるらしいからなほぼ初対面あ、oh. I love that moment so much. Kageyama is definitely a force. I think he's really, really good. Um, as you will have seen in my season three All Star team. But I digress.、Um, Hinata, get with the program, my man. Like, you know that you can't serve or pass or set or dig. Like, come on, I understand that he has like this innate competition between him and Kageyama, but like, dude, you, you know that you're not on that level, so you need to back off. If anybody from that team should have been picked, he, I agree with Asahi. Noya potentially could have been on the list, and Tsukushima. But like, come on.、Um, okay. Very proud of Kageyama, although I'm a little concerned because the training camp is right before nationals. So, I mean, he's still gonna be good. He's still gonna be like practicing against the best, but it's just like tightening up that like team aspect with Karasuno before heading to nationals, I think is very important.、Um, but this is a huge honor.、Uh, I mean, Ushijima was on that team. And. Yeah, the potential to go to world championships in a couple years and things like that. That's like, I'm, I'm so excited for him. I think it's such a cool, a cool opportunity. Interesting. Tsukushima. 
しまくんわあすげえ勇気ゲントップの一年だ<笑>昨日は決勝で大活躍だったもんな,なんだよ一年だけなんてずるいよ先生俺はおーまいこっちは月島くんだけですねハルコも近いですし僕は頑張ってこいよ月島外で揉まれるチャンスなんてなかなかないぞ月島だいぶ間に合ってますでは2人とも参加ということで連絡しておきますねおい<笑>先に行くぜ No No And here are some interesting circumstances where when certain players get attention or singled out that it can cause some potential fractures in a team. I mean, obviously, Karasuno is so strong as a unit and we've talked about this in so many episodes how their strength is how they work together. Um, and now you're seeing two guys who got like singled out to pursue a higher level. They are being rewarded for their skill. Um, and obviously not everybody can get that. And it can be challenging, I would say, to team dynamics when a team unit is so strong and then an individual here and there gets singled out. I'm curious to see how, if this will play out at all or if this is just showing Hinata being Hinata. Obviously the third year seems super supportive. Um, Noi is super supportive. But I'm interested to see if this will carry on further and if any potential conflict will arise because of this or like I said, if it's just Hinata. <laughs> Wanting to hang like usual. No, come on, please. He's not as jealous, but what is he gonna do without his little buddy? His big buddy. Like, he can act jealous now, but he's really gonna miss him. Like, whether he wants to admit it or not, they're like besties. He's gonna get lost. He needs to call him. 
日向はまだ来てないですよねおお確かにこの時間にいないって珍しいな No No How is this Tsukushima's camp? Gendaichi! Ooh, the setter from Date Tech. No! No! I'm embarrassed. I have secondhand embarrassment. I can't do this. No, I don't want to press play again. <laughs> Why did he have to go and do that? I want to finish this episode, but I'm scared to, no. There is no worse feeling than secondhand embarrassment. No, there is, there is, but it's like not a comfortable feeling. I don't, oh, come on, dude, like. I have goosebumps, but like in a bad way. <laughs> oh. Also, I'm so, so worried that well, clearly Kageyama cannot read the kanji, is what I understood from Tanaka's discussion. I think you guys have explained this to me before, but I'm assuming that this means that there are different characters within Japanese. Somebody tell me. Um, but if he doesn't make it and he shows up late, is he gonna ruin his chances to be on the national team like in the future? I'm actually very concerned about this because I really want this for him. <laughs> so I, I hope he figures it out. Leave it to me to, uh... look at that little guy. I got distracted by how cute the little crow is. He not a crow. Leave it to me. I can't even think anymore. That's how I feel. I'm cringing so hard inside right now. Takeda actually was upset. We'd never see that. Maybe he has a soft spot for Hinata because Hinata kind of proved him wrong and like kind of rattled up his whole thought process about small players and like 
Now he's giving him a chance because he was like, I was wrong about small players. Maybe they can compete. But also, he not is in the wrong here. I'm sorry. I do not care. He should not have done that. And I'm glad that Takeda and Ukai are mad. He made it. Okay. But is he late? Sakuza. Sakuza Kiyomi. Who has plumbed hair? All the guys who've actually played against him. <laughs> はい。大丈夫でしょうか。わし上先生は駄目なら発揮そういうよ。ただ集められた顔ぶれ責任者はわし上先生。わし上先生は昔から変わんねえ。シンプリーズベスト高さとパワーを愛し、いつもアンテナ
備わっているものではなく発揮されるものだ世界を相手に暴れてくれバレーボールはもっと面白いと証明しよう I wonder if they actually interviewed the coach, the real coach. I honestly, I know Japanese players. I am not familiar with who the Japanese coaching staff is. So I'm assuming that is the actual coach, right? Somebody tell me. Um, and I wonder if they interviewed him and are using like those phrases from the interview because that would be super cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, I got full body chills on that. I, that was sick. <laughs> okay. And the little stare down between Hinata and Washijo at the end. Yes. I know I sent a lot of this episode just like not impressed, being not impressed with Hinata. That statement at the end. Okay. Okay, I like it. <laughs> well, I'm excited because it looks like we'll be meeting some new characters. The little guy with the white hair who kind of looks like a little pixie elf. <laughs> I'm sorry, he just kind of does a little bit. Um, Sakuza. Uh, I'm assuming we're gonna meet some other players, which is very cool. And I'm very curious to see how this training camp goes with the first years and Hinata kind of being the interloper. So I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie, I did not think that season four would kind of take this turn. My assumption was that we would see some more training, some more prep for the spring tournament and then get right into the whole spring tournament and just kind of go from there. I did not think that we would have, you know, Hinata going one way and Kageyama going the other and kind of like living their journeys with them. Not sure how long that will last or whatever, but I think it's a cool little switch up, which I'm here for. Uh, I know I asked a bunch of questions, so definitely hit me up in the comments below. And I was very opinionated on several points, which I'm sure some of you have something to say about. So like I said, hit me up in the comments below. Um, as always, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we are going to keep moving through season four of Haikyuu. Thanks.